Hello, I'm Joe Polak from iChem Labs. This is our second video detailing our flagship product, ChemDoodle. Now, for those of you who've seen the first video, you may recall that I showed you how to draw a simple chemical structure using ChemDoodle's very intuitive drawing tools. Uh, but what if you don't want to draw your molecule, but you still want to have it on your doodle board? Like, let's say it's a very well-known and somewhat complicated thing, and you really don't want to go through the trouble of drawing it yourself. That's very understandable, and that's what we have the Mole Grabber widget for. Um, first, briefly, widgets are these windows on the right-hand side of the screen that provide additional functionality to ChemDoodle, and you can switch between them using the widget buttons. But... The widget that we're going to talk about today is the Mole Grabber widget. Now, the Mole Grabber widget searches online on chemical databases for pre-existing drawings of certain molecules and their associated data. There are three um, databases which you can search, PubChem, ChemSpider, and ChemExper. And so I'm just going to search for caffeine right now because to demonstrate, because that's what we drew before in the last video. And all I would have to do if I want this on my doodle board is just drag and drop. And there it is. And their search results are here on the bottom. If there were more than one search result, we could scroll through. But, you know, it's just that one. And if I want to see data associated with this molecule from that database, all I have to do is click the Show Associated Data button, as I just did. And this window pops up. And I can read all of this stuff. That may or may not be useful, um, depending on what my needs are as a user. I can search for other molecules as well. And then, you know, just drag and drop, and there it is. Um, of course, different databases have different associated data, and will return somewhat different search results. Notice that the associated data the fields are different here for the PubChem database than they are for the ChemSpider database. Um, yes, and I can also do more sophisticated searches if I want. For instance, PubChem, the PubChem database, lets you search for molecules between certain molecular weights, like so. This is every molecule between 400 and 500 AMU. And the, there's quite a lot of them. But, you know, all I have to do is pick one that I want. And boom, there it is. So yes, if you want to read more about the ChemDoodle Mole Grabber widget, you may look inside the ChemDoodle user guide, or you can check out our website at www.chemdoodle.com. And if you wish to contact us, you can do so there as well. Thank you for your attention.